All right, welcome to step 20. Now we'll be installing diodes D1 through D15. The diodes will also be in a pack like this, only they'll look, uh, they'll look more cylindrical, kind of like how our resistors do when they're on here. They'll look like that, just without the wire coming out on both sides. So I'm going to open this up a little bit so you can see it. Maybe. So they are cylindrical. Um, and you notice that black line there on the left, it's got that black part. The black line is the negative side. So with our diodes, it doesn't matter which direction we put them because there's a positive side and negative side. Down here, we're above the A on the back of the board. We've got D1 through D5. Notice the negative is on the left side on those. So we want the black line to be on the left side there. But over here, it switches to where the negative is on the right side. So you got to pay careful attention to those because it switches like every row. Um, because these are cylindrical, they do tend to roll around. So we'll have to use our tweezers more. But we install those the same way we do the resistors. Tending a part of the pad. Just like so. So now we're going to do that for D1 through D15. So there's basically five, uh, roughly five per every letter. So five here, one through five above A. And there's six, six, seven, eight, nine above S. Then over here underneath your IC sockets, you've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And don't forget to make sure you're looking at the black line on that to make sure it's on the negative side of the resistor. Not a good idea to hit your camera with your soldering iron. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, and five. Now going on in to the rest of them.
Find the drone okay, so now we now we're finished all the diodes. So that concludes step twenty. Uh, make sure you're taking pictures of your progress, uploading it to Schoology, and I'll see you in step twenty-one.